Okay guys, today we are going to talk about fractions. Fractions is a part of a whole. When you have something that is a whole or is a whole piece, a fraction is a part of that whole. It is a piece. This is an example of a pizza. A pizza is a whole. This section here is a part of the whole, which is a fraction. When we write fractions, we write it with a numerator and a denominator. Okay, the denominator, which is the number in the bottom, tells us the total number of equal pieces or equal parts of whatever you're talking about. It has to have equal parts. It is the whole. The numerator is the part out of that whole or the fraction of the whole. Here's an example of what I mean. Here is a pizza. The pizza is divided into four equal parts, which is our denominator. Total of pieces, one, two, three, four. Four equal parts of a whole pizza. Okay. What fraction of the pizza did I eat? One piece. One piece of the fraction, I mean one piece of the whole is one out of four. It is a whole that was divided into four equal sections. One was taken out. Also, when you have groups, as we do here with our candy, I have one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts or objects. Out of those six, I gave you four, or four are green. Two are left out. So my fraction for this whole is four over six, or four out of six. Four are given away out of the six. Again, when we are talking about groups and shapes, we need to remember there are two types of fractions. We have a shaded and a not shaded fraction. Here are two examples of that. I have four equal parts out of this whole, four equal parts. Three parts, one, two, three, are shaded out of the whole. What fraction of the group is not shaded out of this one? I have one, two, three, four, five equal parts. Three are shaded, but three are not. So my fraction for the not shaded is two out of five. So when you are working with objects of equal size that are shaded and not shaded, you need to remember you have a fraction for shaded, you have a fraction for not shaded. And we will discuss more of our fractions in the classroom to help us our understanding. Thank you.